What's up, boys and girls? It's Johnny. We're jumping into another one here. This one is, why don't we think men want to get married anymore? It's crazy. It's like a lot of us guys are waking up a little bit. Let's dive into this and find out why. I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Here's what I think. I think MGTOW men have allowed themselves to be influenced by social media. First off, no. <laughs> this isn't about influence by social media. All of these MGTOW men, red pill men, black pill men, all of us men have actually based this off of women. None of us wanted to take the red pill. None of us wanted to be MGTOW. None of us wanted to do this. None of us thought it was a good idea because we saw a video on social media. All of this is a direct result of our encounters with women into believing that all women are feminists or feminazis. But in real life, you can tell people what you're looking for and what it is that you want. There are women out there that are looking for something that could be very much alike to what you're looking for. And that's you. Maybe you've been hanging out with shallow or greedy people. And well, maybe that's on you and what you've been putting <laughs> Maybe all the terrible people that did terrible things to you. That's your fault, dummy. <laughs> out there. But I think women don't reflect what the media says about them. Shit. And neither should you. Now what's your opinion? I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Honestly? They're terrified. Yeah. This creator seems like a nice and friendly person. And she attributes the decline in marriage to the influence of social media. She asserts that men believe that all women are feminists or, as she puts it, feminazis. But the truth is more tragic. Many men feel that they cannot trust the women that they're with. Uh, mm, it's delicious. Since the 1960s, there have been many reforms that have made the Western world more palatable for women. Equal pay, equal education, equal opportunity, maternity leave, that sort of thing. Women have been encouraged to leave the kitchen and to enter the world of work, and have been presented with a bevy of options that their grandmothers couldn't have dreamed of. But men have fewer options. Fewer, because now all of these things that are necessary parts of daily life that would have been done by a wife playing her role in the family a cohesive unit that society has functioned well with for all of these years, by the way. And now that we're getting away from that, well, I don't know if you've noticed lately, but society is crumbling. So yeah, we have lost all of these things that used to be something we enjoyed about getting married. It was the reason to get married. A woman to be a helpmate. That's from the Bible, guys. Um, you know, this was the whole point of getting married previously and now that women have decided they don't want to do any of these things that they used to do because of oppressive men exactly um yeah there's really no benefit on the dating scene women have been largely liberated from the traditional gender roles but men are still seen as protectors and providers and few of those who cannot play either role will enter a full-time long-term relationship those who enter long-term relationships and end up getting married are in constant fear that their wives will divorce them. Yep, and then you lose everything. You lose everything uh, once she leaves, because she'll get it by default, no matter what. Because they know that their wives could potentially destroy them in a divorce court. Marriage makes perfect sense for women, because they gain security, stability, and a steady income. But men lose out materially and can continue to do so even after the marriage has ended. Even after the marriage has ended. Guys, in California, if you've been married longer than 10 years, you'll pay alimony for the rest of her life. You get married at 20, 21, let's say. You get divorced at, let's say, 31. And she lives to be 90. Well, you're going to be paying for another 60 years. That's if you're alive that long. Worse, if a man tries to express his concerns, especially on a social media platform... He's largely dismissed as a monster and a misogynist. Hello guys, I'm gone with John. I'm a popular monster. I can imagine the comments on this video already. All this isn't meant to be a comment on modern women, nor am I suggesting that we should return to the bad old days. 
What I am suggesting is that some of these reforms were not considered thoroughly. It's simply safer and cheaper for a man to stay single. Stay single, boys. I promise it won't hurt near as bad. And even if a woman wouldn't dream of destroying him, he still has access to the weapons that could. Hit the plus sign for more common sense content. I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? I have a better question. What does a man gain in marriage that he doesn't already have? Should the vows today actually say, I promise to love you forever and ever until I don't anymore and then take half your shit? Because that's what happens over and over and over. And guys, this is so bad that at this point it's up to like 60 seconds. At like there's a divorce every 60 seconds. And I mean, it's, just, it's ridiculous. 80% of those are filed by women. Women, you chose this. By the way, take your kids too. Oh, not all women are like that. Yep. To the 3% out there of women that aren't like that, thank you. The rest of you are absolute trash. Trash. No man in his right mind would ever marry you. There's not a good reason. Because he gains nothing but a liability. I feel like we've heard that here on this channel before, guys. Hit like. And that is the conundrum that you and your children will be faced with. Good luck. Good luck. I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Okay, I'll be honest. Having gone through a divorce and been married 16 years. 16 years this man was devoted to that woman. 16 years he was... Oof, let's hear what he has to say. I truthfully don't think I can physically survive going through that again. And my divorce was tame compared to some of the stories I've seen on TikTok and other men that I've known in my life. It's too hard. One of the ugliest feelings that I never want to experience again is walking through a home that you've built over the past 10 years and looking at it and thinking, this technically isn't mine. It's contingent upon her being happy. That's so true, guys. And that is a hard thing. I'm in this guy's boat. Um, my uh, two divorces were fairly tame compared to what a lot of guys go through. Now, that doesn't mean that it was not the most painful moment in my life and that it was just absolutely nefarious stuff was going on. And uh, it was a very emotional time for me. But again, um, yeah, there's no point in doing that again for any reason. And us. And it's such a gamble. So many things can happen in a marriage. So many things can change. Now, I know some of you are going to say we haven't met the right one. What exactly does that mean? The first five years, they can be great. What about that 10th, the 15th or the 20th year? You know how many women I've seen on TikTok or men that have lost everything after 20 years? The greatest peace of mind that I have is this house. Everything in it belongs to me. And I don't have to count on anybody to keep it. Ooh, ooh that's a good feeling. Ooh. Guys, if you've never felt this as a man, uh, let me tell you, you need to get a taste of it. Um, I recommend you don't get married and you focus on you and build yourself up because the, as you level up as a man, uh, that is a feeling of accomplishment that um, is, is just almost undescribable. Guys, it's, it's, that's what you need to be doing. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Simply put, there's no value in it anymore. From divorce to losing half your money to not being able to see your kid. Except That's the part that blows the most, guys. Not being able to see your kid, your own child, your own children. And, I mean, women act like, well, oh, well, you get them on the first and third weekend of the month. Or you get them. A man should be able to see his kid anytime he wants to. I understand, you know, maybe they've got something going on or she has something going on and it doesn't. But, you know, if it's a, a not his weekend and he gets a chance to see the kids and she won't let him see the kids, I guess, you know, I mean, that, that's the that's the end of it. You know, why get married? Why have children with these women if you know you're not going to get to be the father of the child? And I don't mean, yeah, on the paper, you're the father, you're the dad. The kids call you dad and they love you, but you miss out on everything in their life. You miss out on birthdays, their Christmases. You miss out on school performances and yeah. Why would you marry these women today?
for maybe two times a week. Over half the time, trying to get a prenup is a great way to kill the relationship before it even gets any further. It's not just social media that's killing men's willingness to get married. It's the court system, legal systems of America that make us not want to get married. The idea of losing half our shit and not being able to see our kids and basically paying you alimony for the rest of our lives. Not a great deal. This is coming from someone who wants to get married, but it's just not an economical viability. Like, why would I do that and risk losing everything? You seem like a good guy, but I hate your mustache. No, I'm not against having a ceremony, but there's going to be no fucking papers involved there. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? There's literally no way you don't know the answer to this one. Men don't want to get married twice or again or ever simply because of the things they've already gone through or the things they've seen. A lot of them have lost homes, jobs, other possessions, worst of all, their kids, all because of an ungrateful woman. False allegations from a woman at the very onset of a divorce proceeding. Exactly, guys. I mean, look, you can be with a woman for, let's just say, 16 years as an example, and it'd be wonderful, and you, you guys have had no fights or, you know, domestic, we'll call it, no, no nothing like that. And as she's leaving, she'll accuse you of being violent or aggressive and tell everyone that you are so that she doesn't look bad for having to escape or get away. Meanwhile, she's, you know, doing something with another guy already. You understand? Like, they will defame you as a person just so they it looks okay or better for them to leave. It's the most narcissistic, sociopathic, pathological, crazy thing you could do to a person. And it happens every day. Can have substantial negative effects on the man, regardless if they're true or not. A lot of times they're not. So unless you've been living under a rock or you're absolutely that clueless, you know the answer to this. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Men no longer want to get married because it's no longer worth the effort. Hear me out before all you feminists come out and tell me. If you look at the numbers, over 50% of marriages end in divorce and 80% of them are initiated by women. Facts. Why do I want to take a chance? An 80% chance that you're going to leave, take half my shit, have to pay you alimony, child support, and fight for four days a month to see my kid. Four days a month. That's what I get, guys. You can be a dad for four days a month. And that's if the stars align all perfectly, no one's sick, nothing like that that comes up. Yeah. Cue all the women. Oh, I wish my baby's daddy would come around more often. No, the fuck you don't, because if that was the case, you would have taken less money, let him have 50-50. Yup. Don't fuck with me. Why are women so obsessed with getting married today? Why do you women care? Why can't you just have a ceremony, wear a wedding ring, go change your own last name, and call it a day? Money, 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 money. They need Uncle Sam, the government, to make sure that they get their money. Yeah. Why do you have to involve the court? They're married to the government, not the man. You see, the man is just a tool to get the job done, but it's the government that they love. It's the government that's going to give him that uh, extra money if they need, that tax break for having children. You know, two or $3,000 per kid at the end of tax year just because they have a child, right? Yeah. They need that government document paperwork that says they can go into the United States court system and guarantee that they're going to get the deed to the house. They're going to get that monthly payment. Because it's insurance for you, not for us. So go. until the legal system changes, there is zero benefit in men marrying women. But good luck. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Well, for whatever reason, I see a lot of stitches come across my page on this, and I thought I'd dip my toe in the water on this one. I think it's because a lot of Gen Xers, such as myself, were raised in a traditional family setting. And it was nice back in the day. Then we reached the 80s and the 90s, <clears throat> and uh, the feministic movements that are still alive and well today created a lot of division for men like me and, and our spouses. 
ultimately resulting in divorce. And a lot of these men of today were children at that time, got to watch those divorces happen. And while divorce is hard on spouses, it's even harder on children. That's the worst part. What he just said, I know how hard my last divorce was on me. And if it's harder on children, I can't imagine what my children have had to go through. That hurts. So there is no real traditional marriage anymore. And I think men struggle with that. Men got to watch what their mothers did to their fathers. Mm -hmm. And they just don't want any part of it. They see marriage as pain. That's just my two cents. Y'all take care. Have a good day. I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Disclaimer, I'm not against marriage. I think it's a beautiful unity between two people. But there's nothing in it for us except cuddles. 70% of marriages are started by women. And no, it's not because of infidelity. It's usually because of financial troubles. And heaven forbid when you do split, she can take half your shit. And the kids. And if she lies in court, most likely they can side with her. That's why in today's age, marriage is called the death sentence for men. However, when done right, it is a very beautiful thing. Please. It is a death sentence. There is no win done right, guys. You, you see, you think stu you know stuff like this if you haven't been through it at a time. But th the reality is it can be done right for 30 years and she can wake up and decide, well, this ain't right anymore. And boom, she's gone. You're paying. But the idea, well, it can be done. It's going to be perfect one day and somebody's got to win. And nope, not you. Stand crown, kings. Boys, back me up. I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Even better question for you. What's the benefit of marriage for a guy? And I'm asking this as somebody who's fine getting married to the woman I love. But what would actually be the benefit? I already live with my girlfriend. We already share bills. We already sleep together. We already do all kinds of things together. Right now, I have everything I would have in a marriage. The only difference is I'm not currently betting half my shit and probably half my paycheck for the next 10 years that will work out. Exactly, guys. This is why I tell you, you don't have to marry them. You don't have to commit to them in a relationship. Just let them know up front. Yeah, this is what it is. Oh, no, no, that's not for me. I've seen too many. It's no, 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 no. She can go find her a simp. She can go find her a beta male who will be like, well, yeah, honey, I'm gonna, we'll get married. Let's roll these dice. That's not for you. <laughs> And like I said, I'm not opposed to marriage. I fully intend to marry her. But don't think for a second I'm doing it because it's advantageous to me in any way. I'm doing it because I believe in marriage. But there's something you ladies don't understand about the idea of marriage. See, men only ever married women because you required it. It has never been beneficial to men in any way. Unless, of course, you wouldn't sleep with us without being married. But you modern ladies do that anyway. I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Fair warning, what am I saying? I piss a lot of females off. That's not the intent. It just happened, so be it. I'm sorry. I think men are just tired of being screwed over. We're more likely to lose our kids in a divorce. We're more likely to have to pay you alimony. We're viewed as nothing more than a paycheck. We can't talk to anybody about our emotions or how we feel. Exactly. And I say that on my videos a lot. You guys hear me say this. We can't talk about our emotions. Hell, you're not even supposed to have them. It's supposed to be a little secret. That's why I tell you boys on my channel, you know, you have emotions. Yeah, don't show them to anybody for sure, but you shouldn't be shamed for having emotions, feelings. It's uh, one of the more beautiful things in life, okay? Because honestly, nobody gives a fuck. If a man raises his voice in an argument with a woman, automatically he's an abuser. He's yeah, yeah. She can be screaming at you at the top of her lungs, but if you so much as raise the tone of your voice, you're emotionally abusive. She's got anger issues. And then boom, prison. Don't pay your child support as a man wants. Watch what happens. Prison. Men aren't valued very much in a marriage anymore, and we're starting to realize it. Starting to realize it, ladies. Why should we get married and potentially lose half of our shit, along with our mental health, gaining more stress, being emotionally kicked around? And not able to talk to anybody because nobody gives a fuck. And also, I could be wrong, but I think a lot of women listen to their friends too fucking much. <laughs> I made a video about this. It's called, Her Friends Will Sabotage Her Relationship. Go check it out. Someone's got two or three friends like, fuck him, he works too much, he don't make enough money. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up, we're trying. But all in all, I think men are just tired of the shit, and that's why we're... I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Hammerhand, the MGTOW monk. 
You specifically mentioned MGTOW. That was brave. Sorta. There's no way that you don't know the answer to this. Divorce, the ability to walk away clean, take all of his shit, use his children as weaponry. Females don't even know who or what they are anymore. They don't realize that they're being used and controlled, and they have no, no issue. That's right. She'll use the children against you in every way possible. Even though it hurts their children, even though they see their children crying because they miss their father, they will still keep the children from the father just to hurt the father, just to hurt their ex-husband, the man that they quote-unquote loved. They will do that to him. And they will, even though it hurts their children, they will do it. And their children will think, well, mama's just the best. Mommy's just the greatest. Mommy just loves me so... Mommy is... Whew. Some of you kids out there grew up with moms like this, and you have PTSD. You need therapy. Some of you men out there, and some of you women too, because some of your moms, man, the mother-daughter relationship is, is, it's not good. Now, I don't blame the daughters for that. I blame the mothers. That toxic mother-daughter relationship shit, that is 100% on the mother, not the daughter. Whatsoever using and controlling. You don't use men. You don't use women. Get together because that's what you want to do and because you've made a commitment to do that. And you don't know what commitment is anymore. But we do. We do. I talk about this all the time. Men, we have a, a level of commitment and loyalty. And even not commitment sexually, but we have a loyalty bond that goes on within the team infrastructure that is it's unmatched. This is why men do so well in military service. Because when shit is going down and you need to depend on somebody... You know you can depend on the guy next to you that you've been through um, a lot. Because as we men go through experiences with other people, men or women, a bond is formed. And uh, us men actually treasure that bond. We respect that. Women do not. And we're gone. I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Because we have nothing to gain and everything to lose. See, after you women started doing y'all's y'all's thing lately, a lot of them, I ain't saying all of them, I ain't saying every woman's like this, but man, like I said, as a single father, I mean, I don't need a woman now. Like, I don't have to. I can do it all by myself. And a lot of these men are doing it the same. You know, back in the day, it was like the woman handled her business, the man handled his business, and they worked together perfectly. Now it's like a woman's like, I'm independent. I do it on my own. Well, guess what? You made a lot of men like that, too. And guess what? We <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> it's working on our own just fine without y'all ladies. <laughs> We're saving money. <laughs> I don't know what y'all are going to be doing for money, to be honest with you. But <laughs> you're losing your game. We do it on our own. So there's no need for y'all. I can do it by myself. I do it by myself. And it's partly y'all's fault for it. And we're afraid that, hell, if we do get with you... He's going to take our shit. We can get a surrogate just like y'all. Have our own kid and not need you. I've got a new question for you guys. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Divorce. Alimony. Child support. Are you wearing makeup? I mean... Alright, let's... We're just going to keep going. Legal favoritism towards women. Gold diggers. Women who drag their children through the mud for custody. Women who use their children as a bargaining chip for more child support. Maybe it's the way the glasses are catching the light and it just looks like eye uh, shadow or color or something. I mean, I'm going to assume that's what it is. Over 85% of child custody cases go to women, even if they are abusive or on drugs. Social media has pretty much made every extrovert an extreme introvert. Divorce lawyers. Infidelity. Children that remind you of your ex. Children that act like your ex. Depression. No longer want to get married. I was genuinely surprised by most of your comments. I was... Un okay. Okay, girl. Earlier when you had the cute face and the bubbly personality and stuff, I knew you were. it was about attention for you. But now you're in like a halter top type thing with the, uh, the girls out. And I mean, you know, good on you. I mean, they look great. Let, go ahead. I'm sorry. Prepared for the vitriol directed towards your ex. 
vitriol. Ooh. And the logic of the risk benefit analysis you were doing. Somebody called me clueless and I have to admit, I kind of was. The horror stories many of you told caught me off guard because I could not imagine anyone acting like that. Denying visitation rights, taking your stuff, and more cash than you thought they were entitled to. Yes, yeah, she's lying because girls talk. You know, you know, there are all kinds of things girls talk. They have secrets. They tell each other stuff. She has friends that have done this to men. She knows older women that have done this to men, whether it's her aunts or her mom or she knows damn well that all this is going on and that's what's so crazy is now she's acting like the you know again the injured animal the ooh, i don't know this is all new to me i've never heard of women doing this where are you, you guys meeting these women it's all of them and even the ones that it's not it can become them in 20 years of marriage yeah no wonder so many of you seem so upset girls i strongly suggest you <laughs> this is a play on emotions for the ignorant. If you don't know this, that whole, uh, you're so upset. Who hurt you? This is all like to try to shame you for emotions. You're upset is an emotional thing. Okay. She's trying to tell you that you're being emotional. Oh, you're so upset. You're angry. This is all just to shame you for having emotions. Men don't fall for this kind of ignorant shit. Um, the truth of the matter is we're, men are not upset. Things are working out just fine. I mean, we might have gone through a period where we were upset or hurt or emotional. or But those are all valid human emotions that we're entitled to as well. Um, but the truth is, once the dust settles, man, it is it is a really fun time. I mean, it's just, just a really good thing when you once you're OK with everything, guys, and it settles back down, you can grow and have a lot of fun doing it. You go read what guys are feeling because it'll give you great insight. Also, use it as an example of how not to act. As yeah, that's right. Guys are having emotions. Read about it, and it, it can be an example of how not to act, guys. Yeah, you just, just act the way they tell you to and the way that they think you should act, and everything will be just fine. As long as these men were being faithful, they did not deserve that kind of treatment. I wish there was something I could say. Yeah, the chameleon tactic. Oh, I'm on your side. I'm not on your side. I'm on your side. I'm not on your side. These poor men. Yeah, the same ones we shamed a minute ago for having feelings, right? To rekindle the hope that you've lost for a loving, healthy, trust-filled marriage with a kind woman to share your life with. Nobody wants to share their life with women anymore, guys. I mean, that's why she's even making this video. She knows it. Everybody's starting to catch on now, men and women. I mean, we don't want to share our lives with y'all because you're miserable. You become miserable later on in life. You choose to do it. And you treat people like shit, men in particular. And that's apparent just on TikTok. I mean, you don't have to look very far to see thousands of videos of women talking bad about men in every possible way. Not enough money, short D. Not enough, you know, can't provide well. Too short, too tall. No, you know, too fat, too this, too that. All the stuff that they say we can't talk about them being, they're talking about us being. Why would we want to be with that? All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. Gone with John. Hit like, hit subscribe. I will see you in the next one.